Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and here we are in AITS Select series and I have brought forward to you a problem which is one of the favorites of JE Advanced Question Papers wherein they introduce you to a topic which is not there in syllabus, it doesn't look like it's there in syllabus but they'll give you information. Uh, expect you to apply the quantization principle that has been taught in Bohr's model to some other physical situations. You could consider it as a modified quantization principle. So here we are looking at particles in a box. Only twist here is in that particular box of length L. It's a one dimensional box. You have both photons and electrons and how they are interacting would be the crux of the problem. Okay. So in case you want to have a try, this is the formal wording of the question. I don't want to spoil your uh, initial understanding. So with an unbiased mind, read this question more than one may be correct. So solve for the options and then come back for the explanation of the question. Okay, so here's the formal wording of the question. Consider a hypothetical situation. We have a one dimensional box of length L with perfectly reflecting walls. Photons as well as electrons can be present in the box if they form standing waves with nodes at end. The photon can be completely absorbed only by electron if it can go to a higher excited state. An electron can go from higher excited state to lower excited state only if it emits photons which can form standing waves in the box. Select the correct options for the given situation and take H divided by M into L into C where all these are standard universal constants uh, is equal to one. L is the length of the box by the way, okay? So uh, options are an electron in state N equal to one can go to N equal to three. A photon corresponding to its fourth harmonic can be ignited by an electron in its fifth excited state, so on and so forth. In C and D, you have similar options that you are supposed to check, okay? so. Uh, I hope you have given it a try. I'm going ahead with the concept first that you need to understand and then application of that concept to arrive at the answer in this question, okay? So here's the concept of any standing wave formation, whether it is string waves or whether it is matter waves in this particular scenario, he already mentioned in the question that at the ends node should be formed, okay? So if the length of the box is L and number of lobes, that means successive node formations is n that is the nth harmonic then n into lambda by 2 should be the length of l okay right and if i apply it to the photons then the energy of the kth harmonic of the photon should be associated with hc by lambda of that kth harmonic right this is the formula for energy of a photon and lambda you could substitute as 2l divided by k when once k is the harmonic number okay once i substitute lambda is 2l by k i'll get kth harmonic of photon should have an energy of this format where k is an integer okay so k by 2 into hc by l i'll think of hc by l as the currency of energy in this problem okay right then ep is equal to that is for electron if I apply, then remember electron, which in our syllabus we take as non-relativistic in nature, then you are supposed to take H by lambda whole square divided by 2M. Okay, right. That is mm, momentum square divided by 2M. Momentum has to be written as a de Broglie relation. Okay. So once you rearrange, again, substitute lambda is equal to, let's say now I'm talking about pth harmonic. Okay, the number I'm using is number P. So in this particular scenario, you would have a P square divided by eight if you substitute and then okay right and use the value of h by m into l into c that he mentioned in the question as one then you end up getting ep is equal to p square by eight into the same currency that i used in the previous problem or that is this photon situation this this number so now you realize once you bring these calculations into one picture that the kth harmonic of photons forming standing waves is given by this expression and pth harmonic of electron forming standing waves in the box is given by this expression okay so you could see the number in front of it is the important quantization number okay now i realize that these two numbers should match with each other if at all an electron wants to go to excited level it needs to absorb a photon where energy relates to this and the uh, excitation and de-excitation energies are related to the energy differences associated with this formula okay so using this we'll apply option by option what he's asking and check whether that true or false so we'll go to the options that has been pasted at the top and i've written the photon expression from the previous page here and electron for our perusal here okay now in option a he says electron from its first st energy state to the third energy state it can go 
remember it can only go if photon of certain energy difference is available so it's very simple now if electron has to go from n equal to 1 to 3 the energy difference it requires is 3 square minus 1 square divided by 8 into hc by l that means that is nothing but hc divided by l itself which you have to check whether the photon is available of that number or not so in order to have hc by l as the energy k value should be 2 so it can be provided by a photon of second harmonic so option A is possible, okay? Similarly, go to option B. The fourth harmonic photon that he says can be emitted by an electron in fifth excited state, right? First, let's write what is the fourth harmonic photon from the expression here, right? That would be nothing but substituting K equal to four. It's nothing but two into H C by L. Now, if an electron in fifth excited state, this is a very important language, fifth excited state is the sixth energy state. So you're talking about E6, right? It needs to de-excite to some E subscript Q, Qth harmonic form, okay, right? Then the delta E required is six square minus Q square divided by eight into H C by L. The whole uh, possibility will arise only if this factor here should match with the uh, photon that he's saying uh, it would be emitted. Okay, so once I equate that, if Q is not an integer, then whatever statement he has made is not a possible thing. Okay, so B option comes out to be it's not possible. Similarly, for E or C option, if you check, right, uh, second harmonic, you have to substitute two here, then it will become one. And if it has to, de excite from a second excited state that means it should have a three square minus q square by eight for an electron you rearrange you end up getting q is one and this time it's an integer and therefore it is definitely a possibility on similar lines i didn't solve it but d option you can check it on your own just for your practice and i think you'll end up getting d is also possible so except b all the other three options are correct and let's go back and mark the correct options according to our understanding it would become a c and d Okay, so you need to have a lot of patience in understanding the situation uh, that is given in the JE advanced examination of this kind where it looks like out of syllabus, but I think it's well within the syllabus and the questions are actually very easy once you understand. Okay, so I hope you like this particular video and which teaches us the requirement for the JE advanced examinations. And in case you would like to go through some more videos which will cater to your JE advanced and Olympiad situations, more than 100 videos in different playlists whose links are in the description below are provided. Please make sure you go through them and uh, try to enjoy them. And in case you like this video, do like it because YouTube, YouTube algorithm will push my video to more viewers. And in that scenario, I'll end up getting more subscribers. Okay, so that's a very important motivation for me to continue doing my good work. And please do share it with your friends in WhatsApp and Telegram groups so that they will also be able to come and enjoy in my channel. Okay. And um, you request them to watch two or three videos in my channel before they will be able to, I'm very confident, decide uh, with further subscription. That is a quality of content that I am um, pretty sure, uh, which is good enough for the requirement. Okay. So thank you and stay with me in the next video. See you there.